day guys welcome back i'm going again with the same colors that i used in my last pour wasn't really happy with that pour that i did um didn't get the white negative space that i wanted so i'm just going to go again with the same colors and i'm just going to do a big flip cut pour um i've thickened up my mix just a touch i'm still deciding whether i want to go 65 35 glue water or 70 30 glue water so this one's 70 30 it's slightly thicker again um i do like my mix a bit on the thick side so um treadmill silicone for cells and let's do three one two three one two three one two three so i've got a dark blue and a light blue a dark green and a light green i've got more of the darker colors these are 60 grams pouring medium 60 grams paint the lighter ones are 40 and 40. did have to add a splash of water to the navy it was a bit thicker and this green i had to add more green to the to it it was really thin the white i have got 80 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of white because the white's very thick the new global white that's coming through it's awfully thick but i'm leaving it that thick i'm not going to add any extra water to it and if i get some thicker bands of white in my pour then that's okay i just last time the white blended a lot with the colors so i ended up with very pale colors so i'm thinking if i leave my white a little bit thicker maybe it'll just give me some more blocks of white we'll see so I'll probably go for maybe three layers here oh maybe not there's not much of that light blue left probably should have made my navy layer a bit thicker So this is the deep sea. Actually, I can make that a bit thicker because I've got more of it. And this is the bright aqua green that I've matched Liquitex Basics color to. And we'll go with the deep space, and lovely navy. And the light blue permanent is the one that I've matched as well from Liquitex. Some more white. I was planning on doing a white background and then doing my like three flip cups over the top and then I decided that the last minute I wouldn't so I may have a little bit extra white. Okay so this is the third layer. And I did only make up 500 grams of mixed paint. Five colours, 100 grams of each colour. So just over three ounces, 3.3 ounces of each in each cup. And I've got my two blues next to each other. And then I've separated the blues with the blue and the green with the white. I made up a huge batch of pouring medium at my 65-35 and now I don't know how to change it back to 70-30. I'm not real good with maths. I love to you know draw and paint and design houses and draw architectural plans and things like that but when it comes to working things like that out, I, I can't do it. I'm going to have to phone my husband and say, can you tell me what I have to add to my 65-35 pouring medium to turn it into 70-30? You can't just add more glue because the other mix has got more water in it already. because it's a 65, 35, this has got 35 of water and you're changing it to 30 of water and you can't take the water out, you know? It's easy to add more glue, but you can't take the water out. So 
I don't know how to do it. He'll be able to work it out. He's good with maths. Not me. So he's, work, he's away. He works away, as you guys know. He's away at the moment. So I'll give him a call and say hi. <laughs> By the way, can you do something for me? Even though you might be sitting in a drill rig, you might be able to do it at the moment. You need a pen and paper and a calculator. Work it out for me because I can't do it. Well, just enough paint, hey? How good's that? Mm, yeah, let's just put some white over the bottom because that is going to be touching the canvas. And I don't really want it to be, lose all my green paint on the canvas. There we go. How pretty is that? Okay, so I've told you about my colours, light blue, permanent. And then the dark, deep space. I've got a light and dark in the blue, light and the dark in the green. That's deep sea and aqua green. Okay. I need a good pour. It's been ages since I had a good pour. I don't think this is going to be as amazing as I want it to be because I've only got one opaque colour in there, and that's the white. I really need two opaques in there to, to make my rings around the cells. But I've only got one, so black would have been good, I guess. Now, I don't want to drag. I'm not going to drag. I'm just going to flip. That's better. Pretty, hey? Cover my corners. <sighs> Big sigh of relief. I think I like my thirty, my seventy thirty better. You could just dive into that. That just looks amazing. Those colours, the blending. Some cells popping up already. That's okay. If you had heaps, your mix is too thin. If you don't have any, your mix might be a bit too thick. Shoe fly. Now, I'm going to tilt off a little bit of this. That's actually worked better than me dragging the cup down. Just going to cover some of this. Don't want to lose too much of this. I've only just got enough paint, so I don't want to lose too much. Go back up there. I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. If I need to take some more off that corner later, then I will. <laughs> Look at the tiny little cells right on the corner there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, now, the weight of the paint is all down here at the moment, so I'm just going to take it down there rather than bring it all the way up here again. Oh, I need to go that way. A bit of corner catcher here. Making a mess. Push the paint back on. Push it back on. Okay, you close up. Go on, close up. As I said, I can always get rid of these corners afterwards. I want to make sure I've got enough paint to get to the whole surface. I just love those blended backgrounds. I do. I think they're just beautiful. All right, now I'm going to torch. I want to keep the blended background, so I don't want to have big clusters. I just want to have a few. Try for less. Less is more. Less is more. I want less cells, please. 
careful with my torching. Don't get too close. I want a huge cluster coming up. Just want some random cells here and there. Around in the big circles. So you're not getting too much heat in one spot. Keep the torch moving. You can always go back again to other areas that you want some cells. Go back over there again. Reconnect with that area. <laughs> so far. They're only tiny. Hopefully they'll be all right and I haven't made the mix too thick. Because if you're not getting rings around your cells, um, your mix may well be too thick. But I do need to have another opaque I'm going to take the weight of the paint to about here and then I'm going to change direction. I've never done it this way before. I've always gone long end to long end. Try and get the paint to go that way. Try and keep some of those cells. Okay. Still haven't got that definition of colour, hey? Probably because I haven't got a black in there. I don't think I can go all the way over to that other corner. I can't really risk it getting all the way back down here. I think my colours are probably too similar. Maybe I did need like a bright blue in there. Uh, because the white again has dulled everything to a very similar sort of a colour scheme. Let's see if I can get some cells up here on this corner and, and this corner here. blending background you've got to give it that hey where's my little tool I need to fix my edges come around the back it's quite a bit of paint that I've missed in the corners With the thicker mix I guess you can get away with using a little bit more like I could have got away with the 600 grams because it's thicker but I couldn't fit any more in my cup anyway all right so there we go uh, yeah, it's it's okay. Haven't got the, you know, you, you can't see very much in the way of white. There's a few white cells, 
the white has just blended in with the other colors and muted them so it's all very very similar you know you can't really say hey look at those navy cells the, you know there's a couple of them there and there and over there but here uh, they've all just blended and you can't really say yep that's that's a lovely beautiful dark navy cell right so let me take you down for a close-up see what you think so that's the 70 30 mix and I would like to see what happens with the 65 35 exactly the same do everything exactly the same just slightly thinner and see what happens it's probably just not you know my color choices aren't the best in this one they're just all all blended together a bit too similar but they are still really pretty cells if you like bluey greeny colors <laughs> There they are, there. Beautiful blended background. If you can draw, you know, you could put some fish or turtles, things like that onto it. Embellish it when it's dry. Okay, there you go. Oops, that light is so annoying. All right, let's stand over here. There we go. Then it's gone. It's gone off the corner. <laughs> All right. That is me done like a dinner. Thanks for watching. And um, I'm going to go again with, with these colors with a slightly thinner mix. And, oh, maybe I won't. Because the one I did before this was the slightly thinner mix. I wasn't that happy with it, so I went back to my thicker mix. So, <laughs> oh, there's no pleasing me sometimes. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Thanks for your support. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.